Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Philippians 4 6. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we could understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. 1 Peter 5 7. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food? Matthew 6, 25. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Matthew 6, 27. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Matthew 6:33. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Matthew 6, 34 When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Psalms 94, 19 This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9 I am leaving you with a gift peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. John 14, 27 For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1, 7 Worry weighs a person down, an encouraging word cheers a person up. Proverbs 12, 25 Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Luke 12, 25. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time He will lift you up in honor. 1 Peter 5, 6. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Philippians 4, 8. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Give your burdens to the Lord, and He will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Psalms 55.22 Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Psalms 139.23 then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Philippians 4:4. 4, 4. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Psalms 139:24. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. John 16, 33 Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29 Keep putting into practice all you have learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4 9. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5 8. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. 1 Peter 5 9. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Matthew 6.32 Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Proverbs 3.5 And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, will He certainly care for you? Why do you have so little faith? Matthew 6.30 I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. Psalms 94, 18 For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Matthew eleven thirty. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture the rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. 
2 Corinthians 10.5 In His kindness, God called you to share in His eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, He will restore, support, and strengthen you. And He will place you on a firm foundation. 1 Peter 5.10 such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced His perfect love. 1 John 4.18 And if worry can't accomplish a little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? Luke 12.26 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect me and comfort me. Psalms 23, 4 Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. Psalms 46, 10 Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 6 You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Isaiah 26, 3 I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Psalms 34, 4 And don't be concerned about what to eat and what to drink. Don't worry about such things. Luke 12, 29 Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and He will give you everything you need. Luke 12, 31 But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Psalms 56, 3 so we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Hebrews 13, 6 The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? Psalms 27, 1 Oh my people, trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart to Him, for our God is our refuge. Psalms 62, 8 for I hold you by your right hand, I the Lord your God, and I say to you, don't be afraid, I am here to help you. Isaiah 41, 13 But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Jeremiah 17, 7 